Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you're not new, thank you guys so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. So today is going to be a short but sweet video, hopefully, because I'm only going to be talking about a few things. Um, and they're from Dapper Fragrances. I've talked about Dapper before on my channel. Um, I spent a lot of my own money on their website and I've loved everything that I've tried. These, this video is not sponsored, but these were sent to me because Dapper actually came out with perfume oil roller balls which is new for them um and to be honest with you it's very new to me so these were sent to me thank you guys for sending them over um but obviously there's these are my own opinions so I will say this was my first time ever trying like an oil a perfume oil and that's because I know other companies have them but I was always scared to try them because I like things that are easy and I was really worried about it like staining my clothes and my furniture because I have three boys I'm not always careful and I really like things to be easy I like to just put something on and go so I was worried about that however I will say I did try they sent me four did I say that um and I tried two and I gave them each like a day's wear test on their own so that I could kind of like give it a proper review but they did not stain my clothes, but we'll get into that. And as for the oils, there are like some pros about it. So basically because it's an oil concentration, it's more, it's an oil formula, I should say. It's more concentrated, which means they're gonna last longer. They project, they're beastly. So basically they're stronger, so you need less. So with the perfume, yeah, you would probably spray your clothes and you would spray more so that it would project and it would last you longer. With these, you don't need to do that. So you could just dab it on. When I wore it, I for one of them, I literally just put it on my wrist and you could smell that thing for like at least seven hours I would say seven hours and if you wanted to smell more you could put it more places um and then the other one I wore just behind my ear and on my wrist again and like I said these lasted me all day but the great thing about oils is that it makes it easier to travel with um so they're travel friendly you could take it in your purse very easily and touch up or like reapply as you go rather than taking like a full size 100 ml bottle um so because they're so tiny and they're they're tiny, but you need to use less. Like you don't need to use as much as you would use for a perfume and they're gonna project, they're gonna last you longer because they are concentrated. So these little things are beastly. With that said, let's get into it. Also, um, regarding like the oil aspect, like I said, I have three kids, so I'm not, uh, like I'm not careful is what I'm trying to say and I was worried that the oil would stain my clothes but even after I put this on my wrist so the first the first time I was trying um coconut nanas I'll get into that but when I was trying that I let it sit on my skin for a bit and then obviously it's oil so yes you have some oil on the top of your skin and what I did was I kind of rubbed it in like you would rub in a, a lotion into your skin and I was worried that by doing that and I even took a paper towel and I kind of like dabbed off the extra and I was worried that that would rub it off but I also kind of wanted to test it you know so I wanted to see what I could do with it and even after I rubbed it in and I took a paper towel and I dabbed off the extra um oil I could still smell it it was still on my skin so I just kind of rubbed it in like you would rub in lotion just so that I didn't have like excess oil sitting on my skin because that's just like a disaster waiting to happen if you know what I mean but even after dabbing off the extra I could still smell it it still lasted it still projected which is amazing anyways let's get into the actual scents that I got so the first one I'm gonna start with two of my favorites the first one that I tried is called coconut nanas by Rirana. I hope I'm saying that right on the website the actual notes weren't listed for this one but the main accords are sweet fruity tropical coconut lactonic floral fresh and vanilla um and this one this is the one that i tried first because oh the note i actually really wanted to try this um fragrance and i never got my hands on it and the notes of this just like spoke to me this smells this smells delicious this literally smells like vacation like a tropical vacation like a pina colada think like you're on a beach you're sipping a pina colada you could smell like the salt water that is what this reminds me of it smells so good i would say the main accords are like spot on except for floral i really don't get like any florals in here i almost smell like pineapple coconut 
it's slightly creamy, but like the lactonic, it's not too, it's not too milky. It smells like a pina colada with a little bit, I feel like saltiness, like salt water from the ocean. This smells so, so good. This actually reminds me a lot of another like favorite summertime scent and that is Mansara Holidays. So if you've ever smelled that or if you wanted to smell that, it's, it's expensive. And what I love about Dapper is they're so affordable. The scents smell so good. They don't smell cheap. They don't smell artificial. They smell expensive. Like you really get what you pay for and more. Um, unlike some other places I've tried. But this one kind of reminds me of Mansara Holidays but less saltiness. So Mansara Hol Holidays has a little bit of like an aquatic note, like a salty note to it. This one's not as salty, but it still definitely gives you the same vibe. This one's really like pineapple, coconut, beachy. It smells very good, perfect for a vacation. And because it's in the oil formula, you could easily travel with this. So I will be taking this with me when I go on vacation. And I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of that. And again, see, so I'm going to show you. You could definitely, you could see the oil on my skin. So what I did was I literally just like kind of rubbed it in to my skin like you would a lotion. And then as you can see, it's not, you don't just have like a pile of oil on your skin anymore. And then I, I even kind of took a paper towel and just dabbed it. I'm like, it's still there. It's it's not like you rubbed it away, but then I don't have to worry about getting oil on everything because that is one of the things I was worried about. But again, I didn't put it on my hand. I put it on my wrist. But if you are worried about that, um, the other time I wore this, I put it behind my ear. And like, I don't have to stress about that because I'm not rubbing the back of my head all over. <laughs> Maybe a jacket. Anyways, it's getting weird. So um, yeah, what I was trying to say is you could put it like behind your neck and it's not like you're going to get it everywhere. But yes, okay, next up, they sent me um, uh, Mugler Alien Essence Absolute. This is like a fan favorite here on YouTube. Everybody talks about this. I have tried getting this for so long. It is discontinued. Once in a while, you can find it online, like it resurfaces. But every time it's come in stock on a website, I missed it and I didn't get to get it. I didn't get to pick it up. Oh my god, I, I cannot speak today. Ooh, okay, so this one has black vanilla, orris, myrrh, incense, and animalic notes. Those are the notes that are listed on the Dapper website. I don't know what animalic notes are, but this smells so good. Actually, I posted a review. I was able to get my hands on um, Mugler. It was the Alien, I think it was called Taste of Fragrance. It was like the Salted Caramel Alien. That one's also discontinued and that one was also limited edition. But they compare it to this and it is very, very similar. I've done a whole review on that so I'm going to leave it listed down below. So this, you get the DNA of Alien with like a kind of, like a, like a dark vanilla. It adds a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of warmth and... I feel like the Oris gives it somewhat of like a smokiness almost. So it's like a warmer, kind of sweeter alien because of the vanilla, because of the myrrh. Um, so yeah, I like that because it's less, a little bit less jasmine. I feel like this would be like a perfect alien for like winter time or like fall, winter, or even just like cozy nights in. Because I love vanilla. I find it makes it a little bit more sensual. And the original alien, it was just not my vibe because it was just straight up jasmine. I needed a little bit more sweetness. This gave me what I wanted alien to have. It gave it a little bit more sweetness, a little bit of warmth. It cozied it up a little bit. And I'm so glad they made this because I was really wanting to try Alien Essence Absolute, and I will say, people were compa comparing um, Essence Absolute to the Salted Caramel one that I've done a full review on, and they are very similar, but the problem I had with the Salted Caramel one was the longevity, and with this one from Dapper, you don't have to worry because it lasted a long time, so the Alien Ess Essence, not Alien Essence Absolute, get it together. The Alien Salted Caramel one, for me, I ended up returning it because it didn't project like I wanted it to and it did not last um, 
which sucks because that was an original and it was expensive but this one from dapper lasted a very long time and again i think they also make this spray but they sent me the oil so if you're someone who prefers like the spray check it out either way i'm talking about like the scent of it very very good definitely i prefer it over the original alien for sure okay and then the last two they sent me um these aren't personally like my preference like i would not wear them but I feel like I would really like them on my husband. So the first one is Fragrance Dubois Santal Complete. I hope I'm not butchering that. And this one has lemon, coconut, violet, black pepper, musk, sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. So now it's making sense now that I'm reading the notes because there was something in here that was almost like tickling my nose and I didn't know what it was. And this one, the reason I personally wouldn't wear it is because it kind of smells like fresh but a little bit spicy and i think it's the black pepper that's kind of like tickling my nose um i feel like this would smell really good on a man so i'm going to pass this one on to my husband because this does smell more masculine definitely masculine um but i think he will really like it i'm sensitive to like pepper sometimes so especially on my skin i don't know what it is but my skin just like radiates the pepper and it's all i get so that's that and then they also sent me creed aventus so for this one i was trying to check the notes on the website and they had a couple different versions and i don't know what version they sent me i'm reading the one for the creed aventus and it says batch one three zz oh one whatever that means um and this has bergamot black currant leaves apple pink pepper pineapple birch patchouli jasmine rose musk oak moss ambergris vanilla and just based on the notes like this also like yeah this is definitely masculine and it's making sense from the notes because of the um bergamot i usually don't like bergamot this has pink pepper which again kind of tickles my nose patchouli mm. jasmine rose if you guys aren't new here you know i'm not a huge fan of rose but i don't get any rose in this and then there's like musk, ambergris, and oak moss. This one, this one's not my favorite, I'm not going to lie to you. But again, I feel like it's because it's masculine. So it's not that the scent isn't good, it's just like not what I would wear. And I feel like it definitely leans more masculine. So I feel like I would like it on my husband. But as for like the scents themselves, they still smell like, whether it's my preference or not, the quality is there they still smell amazing they last a long time and they project so at least you know you're getting your money's worth okay last but not least if you guys are here for the killian angel share dupe i'm going to throw it in it has nothing to do with the oils however some of you guys did ask me if i know the dupe for killian angel share because i love that perfume but it is very expensive and i did receive this one from dapper a while ago but because of what's going on it took forever to get here and then i kind of just thought i was too late so i didn't upload it but you guys still asked me so here it is now i'm going to start by saying first of all if you were not comparing the original to the dapper version side by side like i did then i feel like you literally would not be able to tell a difference i'm just going to start there so obviously that's a great thing there are literally just a couple slight differences but keep in mind i noticed the differences because i sprayed the original on one arm and i sprayed the dapper version on the other and every few minutes i looked like a crazy person like going in and comparing them side by side because i really wanted to like nitpick you know so the first and when i say slight differences there's slight differences and where the difference comes into play is in the opening so the opening also i forgot to say but i will leave my original like killian angel share review down below because i did do an in-depth review on that so i'm not going to get like too into the notes because i've talked about it and obviously if i'm saying like they're very similar it smells like the original but um what was i gonna say the original killian angel share it opens up you get like this booziness which i love and you get like a fermented fruit I don't know if everyone thinks that but i feel like you do get a fermented fruit almost like that fruitiness the fermented fruit that you would make uh use to make like cognac brandy alcohol okay so 
in the opening you get that but in the original Killian version um, that fades after a few minutes and then you get that spiciness from the cinnamon which I love and you do get a little bit of woodiness from like the oak um, so the only difference like the first difference I should say is that the dapper version opens up with the same booziness and that fermented fruit but the dapper version opens up slightly more fruity and this lasts for roughly 30 to 40 minutes where the Killian's does not last that long so that's the only difference is that the opening of this opens slightly more fruity um, by fruity I mean like that fermented fruit that booziness the fermented fruit in the opening of this lasts longer, roughly 30 to 40 minutes. After the 30 to 40 minutes, when you smell these, I feel like that's when they smell almost identical. I'm gonna say these are like 95 to 98% identical. And like I said, this is just because I was like nitpicking and comparing them side by side and going in like a crazy person every couple minutes to smell if I could smell a difference. Um, so yeah, this one opens slightly more um, fruity but I know some people love the opening of Angel Share so you might actually enjoy that but after the 30 to 40 minutes they smell pretty much identical like literally identical I don't know why I said pretty much um, and then the only other thing I could say is that the original longevity for both of them is the same um, they both last a very long time however remember longevity and projection are two different things and I would say the Killian version projects a tiny bit longer than this one but this one is so much more affordable like you could reapply it if you really wanted it to project more or you could just apply more if you wanted it to project more um, so I really don't mind that and it was just a slight difference and again it's because I was comparing them side by side but if you weren't doing that honestly I feel like after like I said after 30 to 40 minutes if you smelled this you would just like you would think it was Killian Angel share honestly if you're basing it strictly on the smell and you didn't see the bottle or anything you would think it was Angel share I sprayed it on me now this smells so good the only difference to, to my nose is that in the opening that's where it's different and it's that it pulls slightly more fruity um but that's it they both last a very long time so if you are looking for a dupe if you don't want to spend 260 dollars but you kind of want to get the experience and know what angel share smells like i would say try this you really like cannot go wrong i cannot get my words out but anyways that was my quick little review I'm sorry it took so long. I hope you guys liked this video. It was rambly, but I feel like you guys are used to being mine now. And this is why I hate filming at night time. So, yes, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.